The movie story begins with a young boy named Shui Sheng. He came to a river to catch fish with his father, but then he feels as if someone is calling him by his name, because of which he was very scared. He was nervous. That's why he tells his father to go home. But without hearing anything, his father jumps into the water to catch fish. After a while, he comes out, but empty-handed, he did not find any fish. Then suddenly Shui Sheng sees a monster in the water, about which he immediately points out to his father. Because of this, his father quickly comes back into the boat. But the next moment, that monster attacks his boat from below. Because of this, his boat goes up a lot in turn. Then he strangles Shui Sheng's father with his tail and kills him. After this, he is taken into the water and eaten by him. And we see a lot of blood in the water. That monster also puts his hand on the boat to kill Shui Sheng, which was very scary. But somehow he survives. After this, we are shown the time after 10 years in the story, where Shui Sheng has now grown up. He lives with the people of his village, in which a total of 40 to 50 people were included. There was also an old man in that village, whom everyone considered serious. And he was called the uncle. He is also sure about the existence of the monster. He has been telling the villagers about the monster for many years, and a lot of monster story. Here we see a girl named Lan who lives with her father and younger brother. Everyone in the village likes her a lot, especially Shui Sheng, because he loves her. But he is afraid of Lan's father, who tells him to stay away from his daughter. Then a man comes running, and informs that there is a dead body on the river bank. When they go there, they see that the condition of the dead body is very bad. It has no head. Seeing this, the uncle says, Oh God, it was very bad. The thing we were afraid of, happened. God of water has done this to him, who is very dangerous. He has come back, will not leave anyone, and will kill everyone one by one. Hearing this, the village chief says, Then you tell us such a solution, with which we can stop that god, can calm him down. On which the uncle says, To calm him down, we will have to sacrifice someone. Then Lan's dad comes there, and in anger, he says, Uncle, what nonsense are you talking about? He is not a god. In fact, he is a water monster, that is, the devil of water, who is a devil, an animal, nothing more than this. His words seem strange to Shui Sheng. That's why he goes away from here. On the way, he sees Lan's younger brother, who is playing by the river. Shui Sheng tells him, what are you doing by the river? Go well, go home. After saying this, he goes away from there. He comes straight to Lan. He tells her that he has heard that a water monster has come, who is very dangerous, and a man-eater. That's why it's not right to go to the river. So you, please don't go. I am worried about you. At night, we see all the villagers very nervous, because Lan's brother was missing, and all the villagers were looking for him everywhere. And then Lan's dad cries, who was standing in the river and crying, because his son's dead body was in his lap. That means Lan's brother was also killed. Looking this, the uncle says, now you must have believed, that how dangerous that God is, and we will have to sacrifice someone, then our life will be saved. Now, the next day, we see those people, are worshipping an animal's head in a fish. Shui Sheng, while sitting far away with his cousin, he was seeing all this, but it was a matter of unawareness for him, that what is happening. In the meantime, Lan's dad comes there, and he breaks all the things kept there by kicking them, and he also breaks all the things he brought. The uncle gets scared seeing this, he says please be calm down, why have you become our enemy? Because of you, everyone in the village will die. Actually, Lan's dad was doing this, because he didn't believe in these things, like God, sacrifice etc. Now, when the uncle and the village chief were talking, then they hear the voices of those people. That's why they quickly go to the river bank. Here they come and see that Lan's dad, to kill that monster. He is throwing bombs into the water. The villagers shout and stop him from doing this, and immediately told him to come out. But he doesn't listen to anyone, and on the contrary, he starts getting angry at the villagers, because of which the villagers forcefully catch him, and tie him with a pole. When Shui Sheng comes to meet him and says, No doubt, you are brave, but you can't fight that monster alone. Hearing this, he got angry. That's why he scolds Shui Sheng and drives him away. It was quite late, where we could see a movement in the water, because there was a water monster, which came out from there and came to Lan's dad. He had also seen the monster. The monster comes to him from above, and calls his name. Then he grabs his face with his scary hands and attacks him, and eats his whole head. Then the next morning, Lan brings food for her dad. But she is shocked to see him in a very bad condition, that my dad has no head. She gets trembled, and starts crying in sadness. After this, all the villagers gather together. The uncle says that we will sacrifice Lan. Hearing this, Shui Sheng and his friends oppose this, 
and stop them to sacrifice Lan. But then Lan herself comes there and says, Okay, I am ready, give my sacrifice. Hearing this, Shui Sheng feels bad. He stops her to do that. Don't be crazy. What are you doing? Are you going to sacrifice yourself? On which Lan says, I just want to see what that thing is. Shui Sheng explains to everyone, Look, you are doing wrong. And this is not a god but a monster, a devil. And you are killing someone for no reason. He gets very angry at the uncle. By telling such stupid things to people, you are spoiling their mind. He gets very angry. On which the villagers take him from there. Then at night, Shui Sheng comes to land. Says look, try to understand. Whatever you are doing is wrong. Your decision is not right at all. You do one thing, run away with me. To a place where this monster can never come. On which Lan refuses and says, My dad was everything to me. He is no more. So I don't even want to live anymore. I just want to take revenge of my dad from that water monster. And you please go from here. Hearing this, Shui Sheng comes home. He decides that no matter what happens, now I will take revenge on that monster. I will kill him. Then he opens a box, which had a weapon inside. Which was once of his dad. Many days pass. Where Shui Sheng was practicing fighting and killing that monster. Apart from this, he also puts a trap in his house. So that he can catch the monster. He was doing all this with the help of his companion. Then he goes to his other companion. To ask for help. Says that I need some people to support me. To fight and kill that monster. Then his companion introduces Shui Sheng to his friends. Who are ready to go with him. After this, we see that all the villagers. Were gathered by the river bank. Because of sacrifice, they were sending land. On the boat to the other bank of the river, Lan also had a knife with her, so that she can fight that monster. Then Shui Sheng also comes here with his companion, and again tells the villagers that he is not a god, for which we should sacrifice our people. He is a devil and we should fight him. We should fight him. I know this thing, because the same monster had also killed my dad, and many people in the village too. That's why you guys should also work wisely, and support me so that we can face him together and kill him. But the villagers listen to him quietly. But no one comes forward to support. But then some boys get ready to support him. Now after a while, they all get together. Make a plan to catch the monster. Shui Sheng drops some pieces of the flesh into the water. And says, that if there is any commotion. Then immediately pull the chain up. When they hear this, everyone becomes alert. They had their eyes on the water all the time. Because they believed that the monster can come at any time. And then suddenly they feel movement in the water. Then his companion quickly starts pulling the chain up. Shui Sheng also helps him. And they pull the whole chain up. But when they see that there is no meat on the chain. Then they understand that the monster has come. Then a companion of his asks. May I go into the water and check. Whether the monster has really come or not. On which Shui Sheng refuses him. But still. He does not listen to him. And goes to check in the water. After a while. He comes out and tells everyone. That no. That monster has not come yet. But then suddenly that monster attacks him from below. Pulls him and eats him. Where we only see his blood in the water. After a while. The monster then throws his head out. Which falls next to them. Seeing this. Everyone's condition was bad. After this. We see that the water monster. Comes running towards them. And directly attacks a man. And takes him with him into the water. Then he opens his terrible mouth. He eats his head in front of their eyes. See, Shui Sheng continues to attack him with his sharp rod. But the monster was so fast that a single rod can't touch him. He was saved again and again. Then suddenly he disappears from there. Because of which everyone becomes alert suddenly. Then that monster came on their boat. And was about to attack land but could not do it. Now they attack him with their own rods together. But unfortunately, he survives this time too. He was not touched by a single rod. On the contrary, he catches them one by one. And after a lot of hitting, he injures them. Then he attacks Lan. But to stop him, Shui Sheng attacks him. Because of which he falls very far. Then Shui Sheng hits him very hard. The monster slips and falls. And now after so much effort, they catch him in the net. But he was so powerful that, these people could not stop him for a long time. He goes back to the water to save his life. Now it was night. Where all the companions live together at Shui Sheng's house. Many of them talk about ending this war here. And then a man leaves from there. But as soon as he reaches a tree. On top of that, the water monster attacks him and kills him. After which he had come to their house. He goes inside and sees a human. On which he attacks without thinking. But it was not a human. It was just a statue. Which they had deliberately kept here. Shui Sheng was watching the monster quietly. And by gesturing, he tells all his companion to close all the windows, by which the monster is imprisoned there. 
Actually, these people had set up a net all over the house so that they could catch this monster. One by one, they begin to fire their weapons at him. A very heavy attack is made on the monster. But still, the attack does not harm him. He survives. Then he starts running on the walls like a monkey. And finally, after breaking the wooden floor, comes out of the place where they were all. They had brought him here thinking that he was powerful in the water. So he will become weak by coming out. But their thinking proved wrong. He now attacks them and picks them up one by one. And throws them. Then Shui Sheng comes here. And attacks him with arrows. And then as soon as the monster reaches the right place. Then he traps him in a trap and locks him in a cave. He says, thank God, that moment has finally come. I had been waiting for this moment for the past 10 years. After a while, all the villagers come there. Where the monster was locked in a cage. Someone was calling him a monster. And someone called him a water devil. And someone called him a water monkey. All of them say that Shui Sheng was right. He is not a god but just an animal. He is a monster and nothing else. All of them call Shui Sheng their hero. And put slogans for him. And they praise him a lot. But then the uncle comes there. And crying says. You all are not doing this right. See, because of this act of Shui Sheng, he will kill us all. But now the villagers were not paying attention to the uncle's words. After this, on this happy occasion, they prepare for the celebration. The village chief says, what to do with this monster? We will see this tomorrow. For now, you all go and take a good sleep and enjoy yourself a lot. After which everyone celebrates. They were very happy. On the other hand, Shui Sheng asks Lan for marriage, on which she agreed. Both were very happy, because they wanted to spend their whole life together. And today they were together. Uncle's eyes open near the cage. He sees that the water monster is not in the cage now. He is missing from here. As soon as he turns back and sees, so that monster was in front of him, and was moving towards him. And then as soon as he sees, he tears his body into two pieces. He separates his body and drops it far away. All the villagers were completely intoxicated, taking advantage of which the monster kills everyone, and starts eating them. That's why Shui Sheng's brother comes from behind, and throws some edible thing at the monster. Then he says while teasing him, I am not afraid of you, you can't do anything to me. Actually, Shui Sheng's brother was a little crazy, that's why he fights the monster. He also bites him, he was saying the same thing again and again, that I am not afraid of you. But that monster puts his hand in his stomach, and pierces him and finally, kills him. Now, as soon as the morning comes, there was a morning atmosphere in the whole village, because there were corpses everywhere, people were crying to their loved ones, because of which Shui Sheng and all the villagers were very sad, they were also getting angry, they all decide that now we will kill that monster together, then they all go to practice fighting with weapons, now after a few days, we see, Shui Sheng goes to the river bank with his people, to fight the monster, but he goes alone in the water, he goes inside and sees, that there are a lot of skeletons in the water, apart from this, he also sees the monster in the water, which was standing in front of him, Shui Sheng starts attacking him with his rod, but that monster holds the rod, first stops his attack, and then throws Shui Sheng out of the water, seeing this, his companions quickly, start pulling him towards them, that monster also comes running like a monkey behind him, and finally, he gets into their boat. All people attack him one by one with arrow, but they can't do anything with him. Like before, he still survived. Then he gets so heavy on them, that he kills someone and injures them. So he kills someone, and picks them up and throws them in the water. In this way, he also kills a lot of people. He also puts them in the water and injures them. He also kills Shui Sheng a lot. But then one of his companions and land catch the monster. Then Shui Sheng quickly comes to him continuously attacks him with a knife, and injures the monster to a large extent, but that man-eater monster was so powerful, that they can't hold him for long, he gets free and picks them all up and throws them, seeing Shui Sheng in such a state, Lan gets very sad, and starts crying, the monster's condition had also deteriorated a lot, he was injured, but once again he stands up, and moves towards them to attack, then Lan comes on top of him to save Shui Sheng, then Shui Sheng attacks the monster with an arrow, which injures him even more, and falls very far away, but despite this, he stands up and moves towards them again, two people also stop him, but they were nothing in front of his strength, he also beats them a lot, and then the arrow that was stuck in his chest, he attacks them and kills them, seeing this, Lan was angry, she then picks up a piece of wood, and moves towards the monster, and pierces his chest, but that monster hits Lan and makes her fall, Shui Sheng was in injured condition, 
and he was watching all this. He was very angry with the monster. At the same time, the revenge of his father and his companion was also giving him the courage. The monster once again comes flying to attack Lan. Seeing what, Shui Sheng immediately jumps towards him and holds him and continuously shoots arrows in his chest. Thinking of the avenge of his father, his family and the death of the villagers, he was continuously attacking him with arrows. Finally, he breaks the monster's eyes. This causes a lot of pain to the monster. He starts suffering. Shui Sheng once again catches the monster, but he jumps into the water taking him. Lan sees that there is blood in the water. When she sees this, she feels that Shui Sheng was killed. That's why she starts crying. But then we see that Shui Sheng is coming out by taking the monster's cut head with him. All the villagers were waiting impatiently for him to come out. Shui Sheng also sees his companions and family among the villagers. They were dead, but they were visible to him because he had done the work of bravery and he was very happy. Seeing them, Shui Sheng gets happy and emotional. And with this, the movie story ends here. Thanks.